Recently, while, walk, while working on a project, I need to determine the polarity of several, several permanent magnets of different shapes. At first glance, it seems simple bringing the magnets closer together to see if they attract or repel. But I still couldn't determine it precisely this way. So I came up with the idea of making a very simple electronic device that would display the poles of magnets in a very elegant way, a way with two LEDs with different colors for each pole. It can immediately be assumed that for this purpose we need a Hall effect sensor with appropriate properties, which is not a standard component that would be available even in a well-stocked electronics store. There is no do-it-yourselfer who will not find at least one brushless PC cooler fan in their lab, functional or non-functional as in my case. In almost, in, al in almost more than 90% of these fans you will find one of two most commonly used Hall effect sensors which are the FS276 or FS277. First I will explain the way to remove the sensor which is basically the same for all types of brushless PC fans. In fact, I'm specifically using as you see a fan from an old UPS unit. First we need to remove the sticker with informations on the back and then under it there is a rubber cover that covers the axis of the rotor. This is the rubber cover. Autovis, by default, this hole is used for lubrication uh, if the fan is stuck and we want to fix it. Next, we need to use uh, a small screwdriver or tweezers to remove the plastic fuse, after which the rotor easily comes out of bearing. Now we need to remove the stator under which we can see a round PCB on which the Hall sensor is soldered. This circular PCB contains the sensor we need for this project. Uh, the, uh, it looks like small, a small transistor but has uh, four pins. Let's inspect the PCB. Three pins, this is transistor. Also three pins transistor, 
again 3 pins transistor transistor and this part is Hall effect sensor needs for our project as we see it has 4 pins so this is our part now we will simply unsolder this sensor and use it to make our device This is the soldered sensor with label FS276 which we will use for this project. As I mentioned earlier, the device is extremely simple and consists of only a few components. FC276 Hall effect sensor, two LEDs with different colors, resistors, resistor of 1 kilo ohms, and 9 volt battery with small switch. As you can see, this extremely simple device does not require a PCB, but the elements are directly uh, interconnected according to the given schematic. Now let's see how the device works in real conditions. Immediately after switching on, the blue north LED, LED lights up, which actually represents only a sign that the device is turned on and the detector will start functioning the moment we bring the magnet closer to the sensor. I could have easily slowed this, relatively speaking, initial drawback with an Arduino microcontroller and simple code and even add, added some additional options but the basic equipment when making the device was it be as simple and easy to make as possible. In the following I will demonstrate how you can easily determine the poles of magnets with different shapes. Small round magnet. South pole. North pole. This is old hard disk magnet, south pole, north pole, south, north. So the left side is south pole and the right side is north pole. Magnet for speaker. Also small speaker. Or round magnet. Strong round magnet. Also hard disk magnet, 
South North Now I will present you a few special cases where we can detect the arrangement of the poles of the magnet only with such an instrument and no other way. First, this is a torus shaped magnet. As you can see, it is used in brushless motors, specifically in this case for a fan. If we pass the sensor along the entire shape of the magnet, we will notice that the polarity changes every 90 degrees. Let's see how this looks like. Here's what the pole arrangement looks like for this type of magnet. North, South, North and South. If we now look at the stator of this motor, we will see that there are four coils, also arranged at angle of 90 degrees. So the motor works in such a way that these coils are activated one by one and create a rotating magnetic fields that then moves the rotor. This is also a cylindrical magnet taken from a small brushless motor and if we rotate it horizontally past the sensor we will see that the poles alternate. and another bigger cylindrical magnet rotor. And finally a short conclusion. This simple self-made device effectively identifies magnet polarities even for complex shapes, providing that sometimes the best tools are the ones you built yourself from readily available parts. <laughs>